Dear friends, grace to you in peace from God our Creator and from our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The message about the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to those who are being saved, it is the power of God. What on earth could St. Paul have meant by those words? He had pledged in his ministry to preach Christ alone and him crucified. That didn't always make him very popular. His message was confusing, even offensive to his listeners. He knew his audience fairly well. His fellow Jews to whom he spoke were looking for some kind of sign in his preaching, some indication that it was true. Was there anything Paul could point to that would support what he was saying? On the other hand, the non-Jews, the Gentiles as they were known, also called Greeks in some translations of the Bible, sought wisdom. They preferred long philosophical treatises about the meaning of truth or the purpose of life. If his preaching could speak for the desire to understand the mysteries of the universe, then it would be useful to them. Unfortunately, Paul couldn't please either of these groups. His message was about something completely different. A good public speaker always understands his audience, otherwise their message is easily misunderstood or lost altogether. While Paul understood his audience, he just understood that what he was selling, they weren't buying, many of them anyway. His message was about Jesus of Nazareth, a story we know well, about how he preached and taught and healed in Galilee, in some cases, a faraway place.